Hello friends, my name is Shrya and it's time for more of Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer Playthrough. I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I do always appreciate it. Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrastia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Oh, uh, looks so cool. White roses. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Receive 2,000 gold from the Church of Stereos as funding for this month's activities. Good, I need to more get some new weapons for everyone. Trying to get low. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. I love how everything's voice acted. It sounds so nice. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Who is he? Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He has been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lonato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knight's rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the I'm worst. I'm sure we will have cause to battle. Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady oh, Rhea? Oh, she? Awesome looking. This is Catherine. She will be leading the Knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just okay. ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. Oh, teaching them a bit of a lesson, okay. Stay true to them, and not turn. It's Sylvian's birthday. Should I give him flowers? Thank you I give so everyone much. flowers. It's your birthday. Gotta have something. That was a lot of activities today. Oh, Sodas, hello. Where'd you come from? You have spent quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste? Now listen more intently. You must try harder from now okay. on. Okay. But what are we doing? You have no memories. You don't know what to do. Well, let's see what quests we have. Is your return strong enough? Okay. Get a lance. That's good. Armored bear stuffy. Whetstone and riding boots. Ooh. Have you seen the missing item? Let me know if so. Learning from the best. Academy staff. Faculty training begins this month. Oh, good. I can start that. Words of wisdom. Those are problems they don't wish to discuss publicly or encourage to seek guidance in the cathedral. Okay, let's run around a bit. So much fun! The cathedral's up there somewhere, way up there. I can do some training. I probably need it. I really probably need it. Catherine! Had an overcoat. An overcoat with many holes and tears. It's probably along someone who finds themselves and fights. Oh, okay. Talk to them first. Lord Lonato must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Gary? 
Something about this situation doesn't feel Nothing right. Nothing about it feels right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Is it some sort of distraction? Seems like a distraction. Catherine, hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. Maybe. Mission assistance. I'll see who I want. I don't know what anyone's abilities are. Wooden button. A button that seems to have popped off a man's shirt. Probably belongs to someone with a large physique. Like uh, Raphael? Come to think of it. Here to train? You really are as hard working as they I've say. I've got to get stronger. <laughs> That's why I'm a force of nature. That's always him, just me. I know him, just me. Spoken like a true hard worker. <laughs> oh, I don't want to train of her. Okay, how do I train her people? I have to figure that out. And it's time to check out a quest for Mercedes. How do you say her name? It looks like Mercedes, but they said it differently. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo oh, it. Oh, thank you. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. Looks so happy saying that. Let's be her quest. I have a favor to ask of Those you. Those who struggle with private concerns will sometimes visit the cathedral for guidance. If you have time, why not offer your keen insight, Professor? Talk to the cathedral's counselor to learn the various troubles plaguing the people of the monastery. To help solve them, you have to become close to many different people. Okay. Left to the quest, words of wisdom. What she's worried about. To be honest, I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. At a loss for what to do. Thankfully, a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she's said it's little sister. No, oh, she's real sweet. Really, really sweet. What I can tell. Okay. Savan. What about... Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Um... Felix? I don't remember seeing him. Dining hall? Ah, right. It is mealtime. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Hope I actually saw him there. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't remember where I saw him. I don't think I've seen him as a thing. I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. He already had status and prestige. So, why raise a rebellion? I want to know, too. Eh, I guess it's none of my business. Claude is here. First that bandit business, and now a noble rebellion? Are we ever going to do anything but find and subdue people? Well, if we're just going to tie up loose ends, at least it'll be pretty safe. I don't mind stretching my legs for this one. And if Catherine's going too, there's a good chance we'll get a look at her relic in action. A relic? What's a relic? Explain, Claude. You explain everything else. Explain uh, that one. Hey, Professor. Do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry. You after. must train really hard. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. <laughs> They're getting bigger. Ah, Petra's here. Inspirational. This flower is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. I'm gonna bring her along just in case. Yes. It might not be a good idea, but we'll see. Such pretty flowers. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Oh, okay. They are inspiring. Beautiful. There was someone around here you need to speak to. Gotta find him. Got another fish. I like looking for the items. Somehow this reminds me of Fire Emblem Echoes. I know it's totally different, but I guess because you get to roam around a bit. And I like roaming around. 
Thanks, Professor. Nothing to report. Thank you. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of a What is a relic? Explain that part, please. There we go. Time for a break. Hey, Raphael. That's quite a load you've got there. It was my turn to do the shopping again, but I might have overdone it. Aren't those trips usually for food supplies? Why did you pick up a bunch of spears and gauntlets as well? I was passing by the smithy, and the old man called me over. He said he was finished repairing the training weapons, so I grabbed them since I was already there. I see. And those books? I had just left the smithy when I ran into a merchant I recognized. He said he had some books that he brought for the library. So I took them off his You're hands. You're so kind, Raphael. Right. And that desk? Oh, this? Can you believe someone threw this away? It only needs a little work and it'll be good as new. Someone around here was just saying that they needed a desk. Uh, of course. Now, this is just a friendly observation, but I see surprisingly little of the food supplies that we actually need. <laughs> well, I uh, worked up an appetite from carrying all this stuff. So, uh, I had a snack on my way back. Oh no, <laughs> okay. Raphael, I appreciate the thought, but you can't get so carried away with helping out like that. You helped us all right out of dinner. And now that I've seen your struggle, I have no choice but to join in this vicious cycle of charity. Here, I'll lend you a hand. All of this stuff is pretty heavy. Are you sure you can handle it? You insult me. And no, I can't. I'll only carry the books and offer my support as you handle the rest. <laughs> Claude. That was great. Claude and Raphael attain support level C. Why can't we talk? But he reached C with him. Oh well. She reached C with him. That's fine. Hilda! Oh, Lorenz. Nice. Ah, Lawrence. At it again. Hello, Hilda. Are you training too? If that's the case, I may have to revise my opinion of you. Increased strength and skill would serve as perfect complements to your beauty and esteemed lineage. Um, no, I just left something here. I don't share your tireless work ethic. You're quite something. I don't think I've ever seen you take a break. When the fate of all the Alliance rests on your shoulders, the rigors of training seem paltry by comparison. Besides, when my admirers see that even an individual of my talent possesses a diligent work ethic, it is sure to inspire them. I see. But I was wondering... <laughs> Never mind. You're clearly busy. Oh, is there something you require? What do you need? There is nothing I cannot handle. Well, the trouble is, I'm no good at fighting. I'm a fragile young lady, not a fearsome warrior. I didn't even want to join the Academy, honestly. My brother made me. Of course. For a delicate flower such as yourself, no doubt battle must present a terrible hardship. <laughs> it does. It truly does. So, I was wondering if, in the next training session, you do my fighting for me? I mean, I can put on a tough, I'm actually fighting kind of air, but that's not quite enough on its own. Please, leave all of the difficulty to me. I shall permit no harm to befall you. Ah, I'm so happy. In that case, I'll focus on giving a convincingly soldierly performance. You know, Lawrence, you're a good guy. Not that I'd have expected anything less from a noble. With each of your foes that I vanquish, I shall only become ever stronger. Yes, leave it all to me. What a guy. And all I had to do was ask. Hmm, maybe I'll have a snack. <laughs> you manipulative little mink. I want to see more. Oh well. That was cute. Very, very cute. Okay, I was gonna Welcome. buy Hilda. I, I make Hilda work, actually. She can't get out of it. She has two training swords for some reason. Well, I know the reason she got up something. She needs... So I gave her the mace. Let's give her a hand axe. The training axe is actually stronger. 80... 85... Okay, training axe then. Will this one do? Yes, it will. 
Many thanks. I have a favor to ask. Loistering forces. There is solitude on the battlefield, but there are limits to what one can achieve alone. To be stronger, more efficient, there's a battalion guild. Bringing some reinforcements along might give you an advantage in battle. Try and talk to the try. <laughs> Bringing some reinforcements along might give you an advantage in battle. Try talking to the battalion guild master. All right. Okay, let's go find that one. I I know I have to just warp there. I was just over there. At least I know where to find him. Hello, Guildmaster. What do you require? Iron? Replenish? Oh yeah, they definitely need some more. I don't have the money, but okay. I hire a battalion. I'd like to. Battalion. Who could use one? Hilda has one. Give one to Raphael. Ooh. Okay. Next time. Thank you. Well, at least I got that quest done. Steel lamps, poultry, and no food. At the battalion guild. You can meet battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seros. We're allowed to hire those folks too, so be sure to visit the guild later to check it out. Naturally, battalions will lose endurance as they fight. You can replenish battalion endurance by visiting the battalion guild in the market. A battalion whose endurance is reduced to zero will withdraw, providing no benefits until replenished by the guild. Got it. Hello, Marianne. You're well, I hope. I am, Lawrence. Thank you. I cannot help but notice you do not look it. Is that so? I feel fine. Hmm. What, was there something you needed? Uh, how unseemly of me. My apologies. It is not my intention to stare. Does something about me seem... off? Oh, not at all. I was just remembering your father. Or rather, comparing my experience of him to you. Your father, Margrave Edmund. He is one of the shrewdest nobles in all the Alliance, with a noted gift for pointed speech. On and beyond the battlefield, his words have the power to move friend and foe alike. My own father has said he would not want to make an enemy of him. Naturally, I am of the same mind. Your father is blessed with gifts of confidence and eloquence. Yet compared to him, you seem always reticent and downcast. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to cause you discomfort. It's just that the contrast between you and your father is striking. I have very little in common with my adoptive father. But he sent you to Garrick Mark. Clearly, he sees potential in you. I think I see it too. Yes, a certain charm, gravitas, if you will. Just like him. Oh. I can't say that I know too much about him. I should be going now. Y yes, y yes, of course. Please, take care. Oh, such grace, such serenity. How could such a beauty be hiding in plain sight? With a little polish, she would shine magnificently. Oh, I think he's starting to like her. Oh, I think he's starting to like her. How cute. I like these supports, and it's with a smaller team than before, so I think it works well. Who should I talk to? I kind of hope it will tell me. Oh, I need to eat. Let's go eat. Need to eat with somebody to bloister their mood. Let's see. A chef. Start for do two people. Full menu. During this joyous week, Dinah's scrumptious sweets imported from all across Foldian. Effects are enhanced by those who love sweets. Ooh, who loves sweets? They're telling you who to pick. Okay, who's closest in my team? 
That's a lot of food. Nice. Okay. Well, oh, everyone's in this one. Okay. Let's pick you. Maybe. Let's give... I need them to be a little more happy here. Let's do Hilda. Marianne. It's delicious. I know. So tasty. It would be nice if you spoke up once in a while, though. Okay, bonds among the three of you grew significantly stronger. The two invited are much more motivated. Good, that's why I wanted to be motivated. Sweet Doof Week was useful. I think I'm out of points. Yeah, let's finish this time. Definitely instruct manually. It's fun. The group tasks. I mean, they liked it a lot. Do I want to raise flying anymore? I don't know. Oh, who do I have doing what? I totally forgot. I have to figure that out. Alright, who needs motivation? Claude! Get those bows up. Perfect! That was easy, thanks to you. Good. You're wonderful, Claude. I could get used to this. So his has stars on it. Should I try and learn that one then? So far back. Let's do this again sometime. Let's do this again sometime. Work hey, Professor. What are you doing daydreaming in a place like this? It's lucky. As spacey as you are, you're always reliable in a pinch. You were daydreaming too. I wasn't daydreaming. Sure. Then what were you thinking about? It's hard to tell what's going on in that skull of yours. Your expression is always blank. Come on, smile. <laughs> I was just playing around. Don't get mad. By the way, in the next battle, may I focus on logistical support? Off the battlefield, there's no use having a weakling like me in the middle of the action. Now that's where you're quite wrong. You're gonna kick butt for me. And it would bring down morale if I were killed. Well, yeah, that probably would happen. I want you in the action. Have you even seen me, Professor? Look at these noodly little arms! I should be cheering everyone on from the sidelines. It'll certainly improve the boys' morale, don't you think? Because even if I did, I would still be a weakling. My big brother is the type of person who's supposed to be on the battlefield. For me, it's just a waste of energy. It's pointless. Everyone's cut out for something different. The right person for the right task, you know? Please, Professor, keep me off the battlefield and maybe I won't tell everyone you're daydreaming. <laughs> well, that's the worst little threat ever. <laughs> How do we get support? How? How did that happen? You're curious to know how Marianne is doing. Go for a visit. Of course. She's one of my favorites. Dear goddess, I ask for guidance. <gasps> uh, professor, I suppose you came by to pray too? I see. And that's why I'm here too. What are you praying for? Oh, um, nothing specific. I only call upon the goddess to give thanks. Or perhaps to ask for protection. Anyhow, I should be on my way. Do you have a moment to chat? Um, okay. I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. I'm not very good at talking to people. The truth is, I didn't interact with people too often before I came here. Why is that? Oh, um, no particular reason. I'm simply not very good at it. That's just how I am. Don't worry about it. Uh, um, thank you. I'm 
sorry. You shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going now. Goodbye, Professor. Well, that didn't work out. As I'd hoped. Oh, well, that did work out then. Motivation! Oh, awesome. Lorenz! Professor, I understand that you were looking to speak with me. Yes. Perhaps you would like some insight on how to write your next lecture? No. While I do have a great <laughs> many ideas, it would be inappropriate to... Oh, am I mistaken? If that's the case, then what can I do for you? About the female students. The ladies have complained? To you? About me? <laughs> Preposterous. <laughs> there must be some mistake. I am the heir of the noble house Gloucester. It is bred in me to treat all people with respect. Rest assured, you will not find anyone more upstanding than yours truly. Perhaps the issue is that the splendor of my noble presence is driving the ladies to distraction. If that is the crime, I do confess. I hope I've not troubled the ladies' hearts unduly. It is your advances they seem to find troubling. Outrageous! That's absurd! Who would dare to allege such slander? A number of female students, actually. Of all the... <sighs> well, I suppose I have offered several of them the honor of dining with me. It is impossible to tell if even the most well-bred young lady is a suitable companion for me, merely by the sight of her. So, in order for us to get to know each other properly, it is appropriate that we dine together. Thus far, they have all declined, oddly enough. For some reason, they seem to be exercising some form of restraint when speaking with me. I would never insist, of course. But I will admit I have, on occasion, after a day's pause, issued repeat invitations in the fashion and style of a gentleman. That is the problem. What? Ridiculous! Dinner invitations from me? A problem? I am a perfect gentleman, the son of a noble line. I've a wit like a rapier, and it takes but a glance to see that I'm gorgeous. No, I cannot believe such a thing. Are you sure this isn't the result of some sort of scheme? It cannot be otherwise. Someone has clearly devised a conspiracy against me. Someone who envies my position, who seeks to soil my sterling reputation with foul rumors. How crude. Please, Professor, it is beneath you to fall victim to such petty and obscene tactics. I implore you to take greater care in the future. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a great deal of work to do. Farewell. Yeah, that didn't go through his head at all. Maybe one ear out the other. Then one ear out the other. How did we get to level C? How did we get to level C? Oh! Why couldn't I give him cake or anything? Am I too broke? All right, then. Sorry, Lorenz. Ready? No flowers for you. Okay, I'm good to go. Is that a horse type creature? Well, we did it. Support between the two increased. Received 500 gold. Okay. I probably need to focus on a certain thing. Why is your motivation so low, Clark? Because I pushed you so hard. I'm sorry. I see. It's all making sense now. Oh, so you can just focus on one. That's what Marianne's doing. Oh, yeah. Getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. Night kneeler. Ooh. Well, such progress. So I can explore. But now we've explored, huh? Battle. Maybe we should battle. Maybe I should battle. Can anyone... Yeah, no one can go up, which is kind of worrisome. I think I got Petra this time. Yeah, let's maybe do a battle. See how it goes. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I do always very much appreciate it. And have an awesome day.